So I've been soaking them in a salt, non-iodized brining solution when I'm not working on them. Um, I used non-iodized because I heard that it doesn't affect the color of the skins like iodized can. And so what I do is I just put the deer hides in here, put a bunch of salt in there, put water in there, and uh, the cold briny water will keep it good for at least several days. Right now I am drying this one out completely. That's why it's covered in salt. And I'm gonna roll it up and put it in a cold dark place. And when I'm ready to work on it again, all I have to do is soak it in water for 24 hours and it will soften back up like it was when I first got it. The reason why I am drying this one is because I'm stuck with two and I have only time to do one. So this one is gonna be the fur on. This one will end up being the buckskin. We ended up building our own flushing rack and instead of paying the hundred dollars or more for one i use like a cabin siding it was seven dollars for i think seven feet of it and we just cut it down to about five feet or so and so that's what i've been flushing the, the deer skin on and over here will be where the hide will be stretched to um to dry it's not completed yet because i'm not at that stage yet um, but you just need something to keep the the hide from shrinking as it dries so right now all i'm doing is <clears throat> salting this bad boy up so it could dry a little longer before i roll them out or roll them up tomorrow it'll be a nice warm day again so i'll have to roll it out and probably do the same process um, because it is warm, it is hard to tan, like to flesh and stuff. So I worked on getting some more meat off of that one, and both of them actually. And so tomorrow I'm hoping to work on the fur off and dry this one up a little more. <laughs>